Hey guys, Keith of Alaskan Motor Home here. Let's see if we can replace this circuit board on this refrigerator and get it working. I sure hope so. Nice day here today, 57 degrees. Got my neighbor's dog spying on me up there. He watches me every day. <laughs> All right, so let's go back here. Take off this cover. And there's the old one right there. Okay, so I, I unplugged the, the uh, coach, so no electricity's coming in. So let's take this control panel off of the wall. Alright, so we have it all loose, so let's start disconnecting things. Well, what I'm attempting to do is, is I stuck the new board kind of right down behind it and kind of just barely mounted it. And then I'm going to pull these wires off and stick them on to where they go on the new one. Trying not to get them mixed up. So here we go. Alright, I'm on my last little hook up here. Alright, so now all we got left to do is just plug all this stuff back in. And there we go. Now we can turn the power back on and see if a new one works. Here's the old one. And there's the new one. I don't know, if you look at the case of this old one, it looks pretty old. Might be the original. But this one had a 30 amp fuse in it because that's supposed to make it run off 12 volt. But my fridge doesn't, it's only a two way. So, God, I hope this works. Keep your fingers crossed. It's doing the same thing. That didn't change anything. Well, guys, I'm trying this. I saw somebody online do this and they just disconnected their heating element, hooked it straight to the electric. My heating element is warm and the refrigerator seems to be cooling. Has anybody got any ideas? Because I am at a loss for ideas right now. Alright everybody, travel safe.